Hello, I'm Mark Hall Patton, administrator of the Howard W. Cannon Aviation Museum, located here in McCarran International Airport. On today's episode of Barnstorming Nevada, we will look at the World Endurance Aloft record. The aircraft hanging behind me was flown by Bob Tim and John Cook for an amazing 64 days, 22 hours, 19 minutes, and 5 seconds, setting a record that stands to this very day. Some people are driven to test the limits of endurance, whether personal or mechanical. Robert Tim was just such a person, and his flight with John Cook set a world endurance aloft record which stands to this day. Robert Tim truly loved to fly. He wanted to set a record, one which would stand in the record books. He talked Doc Bailey, who owned the Hacienda Hotel, into sponsoring the flight as a fundraiser for the Damon Runyon Cancer Fund, as well as advertising for the hotel. After a couple of false starts, Tim found his perfect co-pilot, John Cook. A pilot and mechanic of many years' experience, Cook agreed that the flight was quite possible. Planning for the flight took a solid year. Tim, Cook, and mechanics Irv Kimsey, J.D. Powers, and Dwayne Potter modified a stock Cessna 172 for the attempt. They gutted all but the pilot's seat from the cabin interior. A 95-gallon belly tank was added to the plane, as well as a four-foot by four-foot mattress and internal access to fuel and oil lines. Tim and Cook took off from McCarran Field on December 4, 1958. The record to beat, 50 days aloft, had been set just months earlier in Texas. They were determined to beat that record and fly longer without touching ground than anyone else ever had. The ground crew, Norby Prada, Doyle Hickman, Roy Young, and Bill Marhold, controlled the ground portion of the twice-daily refueling. The Cessna was flown along a stretch of desert road outside of Blythe, California. Here a line was thrown down to a fuel truck on the road. With the truck traveling at about 75 miles an hour, Cook hauled the hose up from the truck while Tim flew, and 95 gallons of fuel were pumped into the belly tank. This took about three minutes. Food, water, and any necessary mechanical supplies were sent up in the same way, as well as oil, which was changed in the engine while flying. This activity was repeated over 128 times. The flight was not without problems. Around day 35, the plane's generator went out. This meant night flying with no instrument lights. With the many details needing attention over the course of the day, sleep periods for each pilot were only two to three hours long. The flight became a true endurance test for both man and machine. When they landed on February 7, 1959, Tim and Cook had shattered the existing record. Their 64 days, 22 hours, 19 minutes, and five seconds aloft still stands in the record books as the longest flight without touching ground with the exception of space flights. The two men never tried to break their own record. As John Cook later wrote, next time I feel in the mood to fly endurance, I'm going to lock myself in our garbage can with the vacuum cleaner running and have Bill serve me T-bone steaks chopped up in a thermos bottle. That is until my psychiatrist opens for business in the morning.